Hey everybody, it's Josh from Collecting DX. Here with a review of another weird thing that I found on the internet. This is a series called Joe Braver, and it's a Tomica adjacent series made by Takara Tomi. And it is its own little world inside of Tomica, but it's there's a web little web series that these are based on. They're these little uh, creatures called Joe Broids, which they look like that. There, like that guy. Combined with vehicles and things to make robots. And then there are DX sets, which is this, that have kind of another component. And the reason I got this is because it's just mental. A Koban is a uh, basically like a neighborhood police station in Japan. Like you go off, they're usually near like train stations or wherever. And there's always an officer in them and they can help you with directions or if there's an emergency. They're, they're like community policing stations. So this one comes with a Koban that t looks like it turns into some kind of dog, which also combines with the Joe Broid and the car to make this this big thing. So uh, I'm gonna learn more about this as we as we go along, and hopefully it's as awesome as I, as I think it's gonna be. All right. So this is the Tomica Giganto Police Braver Coban Armor DX set. Uh, so it's a mouthful, but. Let's go over the, the individual components, and then we'll explain everything what it does. So this guy is sort of the key to the line. Um, he's called a uh, Jobroid, or Jobroid. And it's uh, he's sort of like the, the hub that all these transformations go on. This guy in particular is the Police Jobroid Whopper Mark II. He has some decals that you have to put on, but I like that he gives you uh, an assortment of different styles of eyes so you can kind of customize it however you want but i i stayed pretty straightforward with him he's got you know some movable shoulders on ball joints all these joints are really tight but he does have an elbow as you can see the legs are one piece and that's part of the transformation process when i was looking up these guys on yahoo japan i noticed some sellers selling replacement parts uh so there's been some complaints on least of these joints being tight and breaking but i have not seen it so far let's you know, fingers crossed there's a storage for a gun in the back he's a you know it's a small little figure this here is the nissan fair lady z police car uh it is this is atomica line but as you can see this is maybe twice as big as atomica car maybe maybe three quarters uh larger so it's not compatible with your existing atomica cars and sets it's entirely different it's different than drive head it's different than hyper rescue different overall different and these are all plastic there were some decals that i had to put on here and the gimmick here is the the combination is sort of spring activated to some extent when you take the police Jobroid Whopper Mark II and the Fair Lady Z police car, you can make the police braver robot, okay? So we're gonna do that first. And let's remove the gun. We fold the head around back. We move the legs up, and then we move the arms down like so. And then if you look underneath the police car, there are these grooves here, okay? So you notice there's one, two, three things there, and one, two, three things there. You kind of place it there, and then the idea is you kind of hold it, I don't want to say like a gun, but you hold it like that and you push it with your thumb, and the top kind of opens up. Now, that's fun, but it only gives you the top part of the robot. So to complete the transformation, you have to separate these sections, and then you fold out the feet. There we go. down and that's basically the police braver robot now despite the name braver it's got nothing to do with uh the brave series that the car used to do so they just call it that uh in, in on its own he's a pretty cool figure great articulation everything kind of moves nicely ball joints swivel joints ankles no waist joint just due to the little braver dude He's got a little gun. He can put it in his hand here. It's a nice figure. The head rotates. Yeah, it's not big. It's the size of your average sort of transformer, maybe a little bit. But, you know, it's a cool figure. I like it. It looks good. It is fun. But then there is also another aspect. 
and that's this Coban. Now, as I said before, Coban is a little police box that you can use to, if you're in trouble or on a report of crime or just need some assistance. This kind of nails the look in that there's always little, the hours are posted and it's always like, you know, what's up for shoplifters and stuff. And getting around the other side, of course, it's totally goes off the rails, but this is nice. The Coban itself is uh, only available as part of this Armor DX set. If you want to get this power up, and I, this is the one to get, right? It's really great. So it transforms into the police dog one one maru so let's do that it is a parts former to some extent but it's not too bad so basically we have to uh remove the the head there and bring the feet bring the whole thing around like so it's all that glorious clickiness you gotta love the clickies and then these we sort of uh Of course, Juan Juan is uh, an on onomatopoeia for the dog bark. And this goes on here. So there is the police dog, Juan Juan Maru. Uh, this is a pretty cool feature. You know, you can see the parts of the Koban in the back there. Um, there is a little thing here that I, I did wrong previously. That's why I'm sort of reshooting this. But there's a lever here that needs to be in different places based on uh, what mode you're in. So for this dog mode, you want to make sure that this little level here is clicked up. Okay. And that allows a plate here to move up and down. As you can see here, it's a better dog mode now than before. As I mentioned before, in addition, the police braver figure can ride on top of Juan Juan Maro and you get a sort of combined steed and rider mode. Which is nice, but I wish there was a little clip or something that clicked him in place because he does get a little fall 40. You can play with his limbs a little bit to kind of make it better, but this is not the main mode. This is not what we're here for. We're here for the combination together as the, the big combined um, giganto police braver. To do this transformation, let's remove that. Let's remove the head here. And we're gonna sort of straighten out these legs. As you can see, these are already kind of in leg mode. Nice opportunity here to see the range of articulation in these feet. They're very, very nice, okay? Arms basically do what you think you should do is bring them down and these kind of just click in and become hands again. And on the back, here's that lever, right? So you notice, you down, and then you can lock it back in, right? So down will lock it, sorry, down opens it up and allows you to move it freely. Up locks it in place. Now we have to go sort of deconstruct this guy a little bit, take his gun off. And the, the fun part is really um, the spring-loaded features again. <laughs> So let's reverse what we did before where we clicked that forward. Now we just gotta click this back and lift it up, okay? It asks you to return this to its car mode, at least the front end of the car, right? So you could actually just do the whole car. Maybe we'll just do that. So now you have the body, you have these three posts again to sort of line up the posts. Like so, put this in. And it ejects the feet and you have the head popped up and this guy now in there. So what do you do with the feet? Well, here's what you do with the feet. And you do like you would have done before where this is uh, the legs. And you basically have to just sort of, there are again, the little holes there. So I line it up and you can just sort of, uh, make these like so. This gun, if you're not using it, can be stored between the hands. Okay, so that you can see the hands stored in there. Excellent. Now we take these shoulder bits and we can plug them in here. There we go. 
we basically attach the dog head. Oh, and my dog head is upside down. And then he basically can attach here. There is a mask that goes over the other mask. And then finally, this becomes his weapon. He's super cool, right? The uh, So this mode is called the Giganto Police Braver Coban Armor. And uh, it really comes alive here. It's really awesome. The, the, the dog head's killing me. I love it. But it's also like, what? <laughs> but I guess keep in mind, like, these are kids' toys, right? They're made for little kids. And they do exactly what a, a kid's toy should be in that they are fun, they are durable, they are, you know, pretty easy to transform. They, listen to that, listen to that. Oh, just do that all day, and it's fun. Uh, so what can we show you about the combined mode? Well... Obviously, the low articulation is great. Swivel thighs, the hips can go out and up and down. Very good. The uh, feet have nice uh, rocker ankles. They're very stiff and very sturdy. Shoulders, of course, can go like that. They can go out. They have swivel biceps. They elbow joints. They have wrist joints are limited because they're attached to the, the kind of paw assembly, but they're there. And you can see what's going on here. Obviously, you could take the gun off and use it as a gun. You can... Just hold on to the gun, which is fine. And maybe attach this wherever else you want. I mean, that's the great thing about these kits is that they're, you, the, all the ports are sort of compatible with each other. So you can do what you want with them to some extent. You notice this is a little, a little bobby. You know, that's because the, the spring loaded action of the transformation, the spring doesn't like kind of click in anything after it's done. It's a little bit of a void in here left after you click it together, not terrible but you have something to note of. And you can see now that we've got the gun uh, in a hand, it doesn't connect as well, but, but Josh, you say, how does this compare to drive head? Well, here's drive head. Uh, as you can see, uh, they are similar size, but drive head's a little bulkier than um, the other series. Uh, a little less refined, I would say. They are different play scenarios, but they're still sort of like body that you can stick a car on. But the bodies are different. You now, this basically forms a big car and a big robot. This, you get the small car, the small robot, the core robot, the dog, the Koban, like all built into this assembly. So that's really cool. But here's the, the thing that they have kept intact is that you can, in fact use pieces between the series. So their ports are the same for the most part. So you wanna combine accessories from one line to the other line. You wanna use drill weapons. You wanna stick them on the legs. Uh, you know, they're, they're there, right? They're maybe not in the same type of locations. And I think these tend to use a smaller overall port for some of the accessories that maybe the drive head didn't use that at least i'm not familiar with but very very cool line uh so the big props for compatibility uh you'll also notice that the size of the the car here the drive head you know, like i said they're they're smaller than you know atomic this is atomic kind of sized car and this is obviously you know, it's bigger. They're just not the same scale. So no, you can't take a car from here and put it in the, the the drive head and vice versa. They're just not, they'd use different systems and they're not compatible. So keep that in mind, I guess. Right, so this is fun. I like this. Uh, I think it's great. I can't wait. I have more that I haven't opened yet. Uh, there were the simpler ones, the smaller vehicles, but there's also a uh, uh, like a jumbo jet that I have on order that is just phenomenal looking and I can't wait to to, to tear that open and I don't know when I'm gonna have that but I got it from Japan 
So cost, how much does this guy cost? Well, retail on this set, this is the DX set, was about 6,000 yen. With the current exchange rate, uh, that's about, I don't know, 40 something US dollars, which is not bad. And the early ones in this line are now starting to show up used on the Yahoo Japan. So if you want to kind of, uh, if you have a middleman that you use to order things from Yahoo Japan, uh, you can, you know, get some of these, the, the initial base ones for as low as like 1500 yen, which is like, what, $7. So uh, worth dipping your toes in if you're able to do that sort of thing. Uh, I am super thrilled by this guy. I'm, I'm so glad I have him and I think you'd like him too. And that's been a little long winded, but, uh, I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited to not be building Legos for a while and back to checking out actual cool toys. Not that the Legos aren't cool, but you know, there's, there's obligations and that is the things that you actually just are really passionate about. So this has been a long winded, but, uh, hopefully informative review, um, by me, Josh, from CollectionDX.com. Thanks a lot for watching and check out some of my other reviews while you're here.